This is the municipality of Datopia, the oldest municipality in the province of Maguindanao. Different infrastructures, different attractions, but the most historical above all is the Maligawalay, the municipal hall of Datopia. This is the present municipal hall of Datopia. It is considered as the oldest house in the municipality, popularly known as Maligawalay or the Red House. According to the book from the Municipal Tourism Office of Datopia, this house was built in 1890. It is the house of Amay Minka or Datopia, the first leader of the municipality. Maligawalay served as the residence of Amay Minka and served as a government center during his reign as the most influential and most competent leader during his time. Most of the structures of the house are still preserved and are given importance by the municipal government to value the memory and symbol of Amay Minka's excellent governance, including the materials that are used in the floors and the stairs of the house are not changed. Today, the historic Maligawalay serves as a legacy of his leadership and the seat of government of the municipality of Datupiang in the province of Maguindanao. Different antiques and brasswares can also be found inside the municipal hall. Some of the examples of the antiques are at my back. The Municipal Tourism Office of the Municipality of Datupiang gives importance to these items since it is a part of history of the municipality. According to some residents and some LGU officers, there are spiritual creatures carnalizing inside the Maligawalay. <laughs> Kapurag, arganya ini yang nukuan ini nak kuana jauh. Ini bangin girikan, nasakyo, dah pun nak ramku kuana mai-mai. Okay, based on my experience sa munisipyo ng Datopiang, nag-start ako mag-work dito noong 2014. Then, siyempre bagong-bago ka pa lang sa munisipyo. So, 6 a.m. dito na ako sa munisipyo. Then, Uh, parang di naman sa may multo dito or kung parang sa loob na rin nila sa'yo na ikaw ay nagtatabaho dito sa Maligawalay kasi nga uh, siyempre ito yung uh, bahay ni uh, May Minka so di natin may iwasan na parang dito pa rin siya so ang una ko naranasan dito is yung uh, pag nasa baba ako parang may naglalakad sa taas so uh, siyempre ako kinakasin Kala ko naman may tao sa taas din, nagpunta ako doon, tapos uh, nagtawag-tawag ako ng mga pangalan, pero yung tinatawag ko pala is nasa baba. Sabi ko, ah, iba ito. <laughs> At the gate of the municipal hall are two bronze Spanish cannons. According to the book from the Municipal Tourism Office of Datupiang, it was constructed by Canquedores on October 19, 1792 and was made of bronze and gold in honor of King Richard IV of Spain. The two cannons signifies the courage and bravery of Datu Piang in defending his constituents against the invaders of the municipality. During the Spanish, Japanese, and American colonial era, Datu Piang was not an exemption. As they tried to invade the place, the troops of Amay Minka used these cannons fiercely to resist these invaders. Datu Piang's rich culture should be an inspiration to other municipalities to preserve their culture as well, so that it will serve as a memory from where their place began. John Ashnads de Magil, Penta News Agency. We let our pen bleed with voice that leads.